Ever wonder where your recyclables go after you throw them in the bin? Well, welcome to Waukesha County Material Recycling Facility. This is where we process uh, the recyclables from 25 communities in Waukesha County. The first thing that happens is that the truck will come in from the curb and pull onto the scale. Then the truck driver will tip around back and, and dump the materials out in two piles. The paper is on one side and the bottles and cans on the other side. Then from that point, there'll be two lines. Uh, one on the paper side will get sorted out by grade. So the, actually the magazines and newspapers are one commodity that goes to one market, so we don't have to separate that out. But we don't want any plastic bags in there or any other types of non-paper items in your paper. On the paper line, the paper sort line has um, actual people sorting, so there's about six people, four to six people um, on the line, and each of them are pulling off a particular product. So the first person is usually pulling off the corrugated cardboard and craft paper bags. And then the next person might be pulling off um, the office paper, and then the final person might be making sure there's no trash or plastic or anything in the newspapers as they're going off the line. Then their um, material will go into a holding bin until we get enough to make a bale. And once we have enough for a bale, it goes onto a main big long conveyor and into the paper baler, and the baler automatically ties it with wire and spits out a nice package that can be loaded onto the semi. So until we get a semi load, we have to store it, and that's where our, all of our bailed storage is. Then the uh, truck that will ship the materials to market will come in empty. Um, the forklift driver then picks up those bales from the storage area and loads them into that semi load. And in the case of what we're seeing here, this particular load is newspapers, and it will be going to a place in uh, Thunder Bay to be made back into newsprint. So it completes the cycle. On the bottle and can side, the first thing that's going to happen is the uh, on the tip floor, the front end loader driver will push the materials onto the conveyor belt. Then they go up onto um, an elevated sort line, and the first thing that happens is a big magnet pulls off the steel cans. Um, the second thing that happens is there's a round um, trommel screen, and that's tumbling the materials, and out of that will come the um, lids and paper labels and small bits of glass and dirt that have come in. So that's conveyed outside. Um, then the next step is a blower that pushes the light materials like the aluminum and the plastics on one side and the glass on another side. Once it comes onto those two sort lines, it's so separated by hand, so the sorters have to work very quickly to pull off the um, milk jugs, the clear or um, opaque milk jugs is one particular commodity that we bail. Um, then the other next part on that line is the um, number one plastics, which is your PET soda bottles, water bottles, um, those kinds of products. And then the third thing is the colored HDPE, like the detergent bottles. Um, then the final thing on that line that no one has to sort, <coughs> excuse me, is the aluminum can. So that's the negative sort on that line. On the glass line, the one sorter there is ha having to make sure that just the glass is going on. So he'll push off the plastics into a side conveyor. Some of them miss the blower. But he'll sort the colored glass into three colors, and then they'll be shipped off to market.